Hello gamers, my name is Seated Gamer and welcome back to another booster opening video. We have yet another Amonkhet booster. If you thought it would be something different, you were wrong. Alright, let's get just straight into this with what looks to be a Cartouche of Zeal. Single red mana for an enchantment or a Cartouche. Enchant creature you control when it enters the battlefield, target creature can't block this turn. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and has haste. Eh, one of the weaker cartouches, but still not terrible if you've got some good trials you want to bounce. Moving on. Cartouche of Solidarity, oh look a better one. Uh, single white mana for enchantment or a cartouche. Enchant creature you control when it enters, make a 1-1 one, one white warrior creature token with vigilance. Enchant creature gets plus one plus one and has first strike. So... It gets you an additional blocker. It makes you. It makes one of your creatures a lot more resilient because extra piece, extra point of toughness and power, and giving it first strike. That's a resilient creature. Yeah, like this cartouche. Moving on, we get cartouche of knowledge. Okay, I guess we're just mono cartouches now. Uh, one in a blue for an enchantment or a cartouche. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, draw a card, and enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and has flying. So, yeah, I don't mind that. It replaces itself, so you're essentially cycling while giving a creature plus one plus one and flying. So that's nice. Uh, yeah, I do not mind this cartouche. It's pretty good. Moving on. Brute Strength. I was kind of hoping we'd get a fourth cartouche there, but alas, we get Brute Strength. One in a red instant. Tug creature gets plus, one, plus three plus one and gains trample until end of turn. That can be a pretty strong combat trick. If you're attacking, they decide, okay, I'm going to double block that with those two. Just enough power to kill it. Brute strength, trample. Oh, oh. okay. I, I guess I'm dead here. Yeah, it's, it's pretty strong. Moving on, we have Soul Stinger. Three and a black for a 4-5 Scorpion Demon. When it enters the battlefield, put two minus one, minus one counters on target creature you control. When it dies, you may put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature for each minus one, minus one counter on Soul Stinger. So there's two ways to play this guy. Either load this guy up with minus one, minus one counters and kill something of theirs, or move the counters onto something else and you've gotten yourself a 4-5 for four. And that's pretty good. Yeah. Quite like this guy. He's kind of versatile. Definitely want him in the black green minus one minus one counter decks. But yeah, don't mind him. Moving on. Pouncing Cheetah, two and a green, three, two cat with flash. I missed you from the last pack, my old friend. Yeah, like this guy. Said it again. Well, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I like this card. Moving on. Splendid Agony, two and a black instant. Distribute two minus one minus one counters among one or two target creatures. This is such a strong card. Such a strong card. Love this card. It is definitely... If you're just splashing black, you probably want Splendid Agony. It's probably one of the better pieces of removal in the in the set. Uh, or you can just use it to load up your uh, Soul Stinger. It's, it's just good. It's just good. I really like this guy. Alright. Moving on. We have... Pursue Glory. Three and a red instant. Attacking creatures get plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Or you can cycle it for two generic mana. It's like a Trumpet Blast that costs one more. Or you can just get a new card. Like if you are if you have one creature on the battlefield and you're never going to cast Pursue Glory, just cycle it. Just cycle it. Gets you probably a better answer. I like this. I like this card. It's It's not terrible. Moving on. Naga Vitalist, one and a green for a 1-2 Naga Druid that has tap and to your mana pool one mana of any type that a land you control could produce. I don't mind it. It's two mana mana ramp, which is fine, but it also fixes you if you have the right lands. So if you've got something like your uh, Painted Bluffs uh, that can filter to any color of land or any color of mana, this can produce any color of mana because it could technically if you pay mana into it produce any color of mana so yeah I don't I don't mind this guy it's it's all right as a mana it's okay as a two mana mana dork as a two mana mana dork that fixes your mana that's fine otherwise you kind of want your one mana like your elvish mystic which is just straight up yep gets you more green cast more spells please don't mind it 
Moving on. Trespasser's Curse. One and a black for an enchantment or a curse. Enchant player. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under enchanted player's control, that player loses one life and you gain one life. I see a lot of people playing this. I don't know how good it is. Like, if you're going... Hmm. You've either got to be going wide so that they can't really do anything with their creatures, or you've got to be going kill spells so that they're getting no value from their creatures, and your kill spells are technically better because the creatures entering have made them lose life. I don't know about this card. I don't know. Moving on, though. Start to finish, we get... On to our uncommons. Start is two and a white for an instant to create two one one white warrior creature tokens with vigilance. Okay, that's fine. I prefer brave the alarm, but raise the alarm even. Uh, brave the alarm. Let's brave the sands with raise the alarm. That's a, that's how it works. Moving on. Uh, the other half of this card is finish two and a black for a sorcery with aftermath. So you can only cast this from your graveyard, then exile it. As an additional cost to cast finish, sacrifice a creature, destroy target creature. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, what is that card? I'm trying to remember. There's a card that is just finish, but bone splinters. That's the one. So it costs two more than bone splinters, and you can only cast it from your graveyard. But start does give you two creatures to work with. So if you can end of their turn, start. Then your turn just finish, sacrifice one of them, and kill a thing. Or sacrifice a soul stinger, kill one of their creatures, give two minus one minus one counters to the other creature. That's not bad. Yeah. It's, it's an interesting card. I don't mind it. Moving on. Exemplar of Strength. One and a green for a 4 4 human warrior. When it enters the battlefield, put three minus one minus one counters on top creature you control. Whenever it attacks, remove a minus one minus one counter from it. If you do, you gain one life. Yep. It's. Strong. As, hence the name. It's an exemplar of strength, so it's a strong card. In the uh, Black Green Counters deck, you definitely want this guy. Like, if you can get this down turn 2, attack unopposed turn 3, you're probably going to keep him around for a while. If not, well, eh. You've probably got... You might have some way of removing counters, like there's Hypatra's Mark, there's probably some other ways, I don't know. Yeah, not bad. Not great. Moving on. Third uncommon... Stir the Sands. Four black black for a sorcery. Create three 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens. Cycling for three and a black. Uh, when you cycle it, create a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. We've been over this card many times. It's not bad. You want it in certain decks. It's not bad. Moving on to our rare slash mythic. What do we get? Throne of the God Pharaoh. Two generic mana for a legendary artifact. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses life equal to the number of tapped creatures you control. That isn't bad at all. That isn't bad at all. Depending on how it works. Because, like, if you've just swung in, like, if you're going red, white, exert, and you've just swung in with everything, and they've just, like, traded off a bunch of creatures, you're left with maybe two or three creatures. That's an additional two or three damage that you're getting through there, and you've probably cleared their board out, so they're not going to be able to swing back for much. Yeah, don't mind it. Uh, do we have a foil at all? No, we get a Plains and an Avon Initiate token. Yeah, Throne of the God Pharaoh. Not bad. Could be better. If you have some way of untapping things during your opponent's turn, that's, that's probably better, but I don't know how many ways there are of doing that in the set. Yeah. And it's the beginning of your end step as well, so you can't just end of their turn, tap down all your things to make them lose life. Hmm. There are ways to do shenanigans with this. i just got to find them, I think. Yeah, that's going to be it for this booster. Uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow for the uh, next, next booster. We're over halfway through, or are we halfway through? I can't remember. We're some amount of the way through the bundle. So yeah, it's going to be a good time, I feel. We're working up to a mythic. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my thrones. Ha-ha! Alright, I'll see you next time.